What is good, fam? I've seen the breaking news. Jorge Masvidal announced he'll be fighting in September. That can only mean one thing. We're going to be getting the Usman and Masvidal rematch. I truly believe, even though everybody just says it was a built-in excuse for the six-day notice, there's a difference between a full training camp and just training here and there. I truly believe with this camp, it'll be different. It'll at least be a better fight. I'm aware, you know, how strong Usman's grappling is. That can cause problems. But Jorge has the puncher's chance. Let's see his video that he dropped on his own breaking news. Let's get it. Right now, I'm focused on me, fighting for the belt, which is going to be in August, September. Actually, September, we just got word on it, so you like to see. Oh, so he actually straight said fighting for the belt. So he straight announced it. Okay. I didn't know that. I didn't actually see this. I guess he was at a Canelo fight. Cool shit, man. Like the second person I actually know this right now, and it's just how luck works, man. Not even made me decide he's gonna be mad. I dropped it on yours first boxing out of all people. They're gonna call me a traitor, but that's what I'm worried about. And then, whatever the f yeah, that's that's kind of funny actually dropping it on you know, boxing outlet media. <laughs> Love to see that though. Jorge is a boxer, everybody knows his strength is a stand up. We just got word on it, so you're like the second person I actually know this right now, and it's just how luck works, man. Not even made me decide he's gonna be mad. I dropped it on yours first boxing night of all people. They're gonna call me a traitor. But that's what I'm worried about. And then, whatever the future holds, whatever I can endow or I can get into boxing, of course, I love boxing, and boxing gives the big paychecks. And what I mean is, they pay out more for the pay per views that we bring in than my current. Big difference. Huge difference. Them guys get like hundreds of millions of dollars. If you're a star, however. But yeah, like even a guy like Jorge, he'd, he'd probably be making like 50 million, you know, for a boxing match. Would I love to be in boxing? No brainer, yes. You know, when the time comes, we'll, we'll cross that bridge, get the right opponents. This is the belt given to the baddest motherfucker in the game. It's one of one, and it belongs to... Steve is the man, you know, I'm happy he's a UFC fan. Jorge Masvidal. Yeah, dude. He's always ready. Always gangsta. Sweet Jesus! Get it out! The Jorge Masvidal! I'm just gonna more whack it, right? Yeah. Like a chuck and cheese. Whack! I watched all that shit he had. Steve-O trying to get cauliflower ear. Dude's wild, that's for sure. That's you uh, this is cauliflower ear. Oh, yeah. Sorry, Steve-O. Hey. Nice. Hey. A year ago, this man was on a two-fight losing streak. He was inactive for a year. Now he's the freaking man. Now he's the, the Hawaii fighter, fighter of the year. That's right. You know how much heat I got for that? Holy, just, just run, just run, you know? Ariel, you know how much heat I got for that? Shut up, you know? There was no doubt he was the fighter of the year. Two spectacular knockouts, then the BMF. The fight clock is brought to you by Modelo. What do you think Connor thinks he has an advantage of you? What did he have the advantage? Snorting coke. <laughs> I'm just here testing my willpower because they look pretty good. I'm looking at the water. Motherfuckers, are going to drink this thing in one shot? Jorge was looking a little big there at the, at the Canelo fight, even in his face, kind of, you know, like he might be close to 200 pounds, but that's why you cut weight. Oh, fucking, you blocked me out, man. The screen, dog. No, I'm a man. When I got the Charlie Betters, we were getting closer and closer. I started seeing this motherfucker's a lot like me, you know? <laughs> oh! Exactly. Yeah, that Charlie Decker or whatever, he is a crazy son of a bitch. He has them eat, eating all kinds of crazy peppers and just crazy shit all the time. It's funny. Hey, Charlie could definitely be in a jackass crew. 
Big jump. We're out here somewhere in South Florida and we're gonna jump on some gator. Let's see how it goes. Go Charlie. Do it, Charlie. Another one. But I'll do it, bro. If, you, if we can't get nothing else, don't do get it, me Charlie. wrong. I'm, I'm taking that oh. home. Charlie, the movie's behind you. Frame on his head, knees to the body. Frame on his head, frame on his body, knees to the body. Don't knock him up right now. Wow. Oh, we're on the beach, baby. Hey. And the plan is just, just just to get better every day, you know? I don't have an opponent yet because I haven't signed, but whoever it is that they end up throwing in front of me, I'm going to be... I truly feel, even though he is like 36 years old, he still is getting better. Coming in on, on a short camp, and Usman only took him down, I think, three total times, and Jorge got up every time. That's saying something, you know? I'm not gonna let this quarantine or anything slow me down from, from being the best me possible. Yeah, if you haven't checked out that full-time fighter, I recommended it. I recommend it because I uh, seen it all. I thought it was pretty good. But I'm excited. Usman Masvidal. It kind of sucks it's the whole way in September, but we're probably gonna get a all, an ultimate fighter with them and everything. I'm excited. Drop a like, a comment, and sub if you haven't.